Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a reading for Pisces. So Pisces, as usual, I'm doing this reading with my own tarot deck, so the cards that you'll see are from this deck. So Pisces, finally a reading for you. So after two collective readings, here is your message. And it feels like it's um, very appropriate, the timing that this is arriving, because the very first card that we have is the Wheel of Fortune. But the Wheel of Fortune came with a word that I don't know exactly if this word really exists or if it was kind of like this junction between two words. So what I heard was eventuality. Is that a word? Is that a real word? Or is it like just coming up in my mind as if I'm making it up. So what I heard with this word eventuality is that eventually good fortune comes to you. And maybe this has to do also with you receiving this message after a lot of delays in a sense or a lot of other things coming up. So it's almost like you have been patiently waiting for the right time to receive this message. So eventually the good fortune, the wheel of fortune is showing up. It's turning in your favor and you're ready to receive this good fortune, especially because the time that you have been waiting, it's not like you have been waiting, doing nothing, just, you know, um, expecting it to show up and get to you. Actually, the Eight of Pentacles coming next is talking about what you have been doing all this time, right? Which it's a lot of inner work, but also outer work. It's incredible how this card today, it's talking about both. It's almost like this inner work that gives you this um, kind of like this... Um, capacity to organize your schedule because somehow this is talking about also like um uh learning how to prioritize things right it's like you are very organized in terms of your work maybe because you're doing this inner work or you have been doing this inner work so there is a lot of um work put into this, effort put into this. So now that the good fortune is here because eventually it comes, right? It's, maybe this is what you have been thinking, right? It's like eventually good fortune is going to come, right? Maybe thinking that by dedicating yourself and just putting in a lot of work both in and out, it's like you know that it will pay off eventually. And here you are working a lot or working, I don't want to say working a lot. I want to say working in a very smart way, in a very organized way, working consistently, right? Because this also talks about like putting in the work and dedicating to whatever it is that you need to do both in and out in a daily basis, right? Right? So the judgment coming next is talking about this announcement. So the verdict is now going to be announced because you have been working a lot. It's almost like because it's also this perfect timing, right? This divine timing of the universe. Now the universe is ready to communicate or to announce. Kind of like it felt a little bit almost like this... Um, fruits of your labor type of thing, right? Because you've been putting a lot of work. So here it's the work. Now that the universe is here to say, okay, the fortune is in your favor. There is a little bit of this expectation that the good fortune is finally going to arrive, right? And, and it's almost like this, I want to say expectation, but it's almost like this, um, this natural consequence since you've been doing what you have to do right knowing that there is a perfect timing for everything and it's almost like the universe is watching you it's like it's they are seeing or you know this higher intelligence is seeing it's like they realize that you have been doing the work so it's almost like you you know, it's not you expect, you know that the verdict is going to be in your favor. You know that now this will of fortune is going to smile upon you, right? But the funny thing about this reading, Pisces, is that 
what is announced, it's not exactly what you expect or what would be like the natural consequence, the natural outcome. Because the two of wands came in as almost like this initial steps. It's almost like here are the steps that you had to take to get to this point of being, being the... It's like it being your turn, right? It's almost like I'm seeing it as like a line. It's almost like this judgment is the, uh, it's like the the one that is going to announce a result, announce something. It's almost like it's it's um, individual message. It's like something very um, personal, right? It's like it's now your turn. It's your turn to prove that you have been doing everything that you needed to do and now the universe is bringing you the fortune bringing you the opportunity bringing you this good fortune i want to say but this announcement actually starts with a story and it's almost like it's not exactly like just this pure straightforward direct announcement like here it goes like here is the fruit of your labor it's not like that it's almost like the one who announces or the universe is retelling the story of your life or the story of your journey, right? It's almost like um, wanting to not confirm, but wanting to say it out loud, right? It's almost like um, maybe in, th in terms of like um, making you know, making sure that you know that they were watching, that the universe was paying attention and each step that you took daily, right? Like each daily step that you took was being observed, was being um, picked upon. It wasn't ignored. It wasn't, um, uh, it wasn't missed, right? So here it is, the story of what you deserve to receive, right? What is yours in a sense, what is your um, outcome. So the two of wands talks about the steps that you took Pisces, but also talks about this exercise in visualization or um, just working with your imagination, right? And it's almost like this retrospective because this one is retelling your story. So it's almost like you're you're watching your own story or you're listening to your own story being told by somebody that and I don't want to say somebody, because to me, the major arcana, specifically today, because there are many major arcana, um, it's not necessarily a person. Although, you know, sometimes I do feel like this one, it's almost like a judge in a panel or something like that. So it's like you're listening your story being told by somebody that you consider in high regard or you look up to, right? And even though you didn't, I don't feel like you know this person or I don't feel like you have like a close connection to them or any type of relationship apart from this moment. It's almost like they're just arriving. They do have authority. They do have, because it's almost like you knew maybe, right? That the time would come and you would eventually face this one, right? This entity, this consciousness that is going to, remind you that they know you it's almost like even though you don't know each other personally or you don't know each other um like very intimately it's like they they see your steps they they see your effort right and it's almost like this exercise in opening up your imagination it's actually a lot bigger than that it's it's because it's almost like the the fruits of your labor, the thing that the judgment is announcing to you, it's much more than you anticipated. The lovers coming next, what I'm seeing here, it's almost like these two, instead of being steps, because before this card came along, for me, the twos, they do represent steps, right? And that's the reason why I was talking about um, reliving your steps so that you remember or so that you know that this one was uh, paying attention to you, right? So whatever they announce has to do with this very um, 
truthful acknowledgement that they do see your effort, that they do recognize your steps, right? But at the same time, it feels like there is like this underlying effect of hearing this story coming from another's perspective that makes you see what you desired or what you wanted or what you were working for in such a different perspective because this it's almost like this other realm the realm that they are in right it's like it's taking you to the next level but through their words through their announcement through their guidance through their consciousness through their storytelling right it's like they're telling your own story but it's almost like you're watching the story of your life just going through like in a movie right in front of you as if like there is like this invisible screen that you can see your own steps so and not just your steps right but also like the exercise that you did in terms of desiring and um asking and uh imagining right maybe imagining a very powerful relationship right this connection but when i saw this card i saw these two hearts at least these two parts right here on the top and at the bottom at the top almost like as these two trees or these two leaves whatever these two symbols represent it's almost like they are actually parallel. They are not because they are one. It's almost like I could I it's almost like I I wanted to blend these two, right? Because that that felt like this um opening of two paths and two timelines, right? That meet at some point in the future, which it's not exactly it's like there isn't exactly like this um confirmation or the certainty that this is going to uh, happen in a certain date right but it's almost like there is this image that you're it's almost like the effect of this announcement that it's your storytelling it's like it's it's your story being told it's like listening to it it's making you see something it's like it's unlocking something that is helping you to envision what you have already seen or you have already um conjured in a sense with the two of wands but it's taking to the next level because it's it's making you see these two timelines it's making you see these parallel events right and maybe this is the reason why i was hearing this word eventuality i don't know exactly there is something to do with event, but also like that um, eventually these two events are going to collide. It's something like that. I don't know exactly what it means because it feels like there is like this meeting point down the line or at some point in the future. But this image, you didn't see this before. You didn't see this before it's almost like maybe what you wanted was just like you know your heart to be healed or you know just to work on yourself so you know doing the inner work that translated as you know this very organized and very productive outer work but you didn't see this it's not even i was going to say split of the timelines it's not that it's almost like the screen opening up and here is the verdict right it's like this uh it's something bigger bigger than you imagined bigger than you wanted big, bigger than you envisioned than you could see because you're seeing it from an outside perspective right and so it's helping you to open up it's almost like open up the pandora's box or something like that because it shows you the future it it feels like a powerful vision, right? It feels like a powerful vision, but one that it's different than this, right? This is the minor kind of version of a vision or exercising your power to see, right? Or to um, explore or perfect your uh, capacity to envision things or envision your desires being fulfilled, right? Or being met, but here, 
it's almost like that is magnifying it's like it's opening up it's like it's almost like you're you're seeing i don't know what that means so you, you know that movie interstellar right there is um the scene where the father is uh crossing different timelines and there are those lines that come from the ethers <laughs> um and it's almost like this this time seeing these lines right but it's almost like they're converging and this is the point that you it's like you couldn't see it's almost like it's so far down the line that you couldn't see but for some reason because of the power of this one telling your own story to yourself it's like you can see it now and that makes you makes you first of all assess what you have been doing but also the seven of pentacles is talking about I don't want to be too drastic, Pisces, but in a sense, abandon your work. And I know that this seems too dramatic, but it's almost like you have been doing the work, you know, because this to me feels like this continuous path. That's the reason why I was talking about this as, and I just saw the 1616. And I, um, I just saw this as like this consistent path, right? So something that you have been doing daily, maybe you know this combination of inner work and outer work so something very spiritual but also something very practical but in a sense after you receive this vision which may or may not have to do with a powerful connection right that converges connects right here in the center but at some point in the future it's almost like you you don't know exactly when but you so trust that eventually the timing will feel right, right? That the good fortune is going to knock on your door that almost like you can see it. You can, you can see it, right? As if you were seeing this screen, right? Watching the movie of your life going in front of you. So here, it's almost like you, you're wrapping up your work, the work that you have been doing so consistently, so um dedicatedly um so dedicated to it right so um committed to this kind of like self-development or uh professional and personal growth right you have been doing that but after this it's almost like the announcement even though it really goes down the path that you weren't expecting right it's not just very uh, black and white it's not uh here it goes your present your gift your outcome your result it's it's more than that right it's still very mysterious and very enigmatic but there is something that resonates deeply in your heart but in connection with another's heart right because it's almost like it becomes one but it it's now being separated in a sense i don't understand that either but the result in a sense or the natural consequence is that you feel like you are truly wrapping up your work or truly wrapping up your inner work and outer work right because this is what i'm hearing it's like this is a wrap this is a wrap right it's like it's um it's even though it's not the 10 to me it's just talking about like now this is done. And here, ending with the sun, it's so fascinating because this sun was looking like or feeling to me like the new dawn, right? The new day. So there is something that is arising perhaps in your consciousness, perhaps in your awareness because of this very potent vision that was announced to you. Maybe this is all, you know, in a dream and you receive this potent announcement in a dream. You know, to me, it occurs very frequently that I don't usually remember much of the talking because in my dreams, I don't usually use words. But sometimes when there is like this very beautiful telepathic message that reaches me and that just stays with me it feels like this for you right so maybe that's the reason why i'm saying this is not exactly a person it's more like a consciousness or an entity that is announcing the verdict right it's almost like the 
what is this? What is this new vision, right? The new vision that implicates in you understanding that what you have to do practically is to wrap up what you have been doing because a new dawn is here. A new day is rising and you feel, it's like you feel that this rising sun, it's almost like it's it's taking you to the next level as much as this one is like the, you know, the difference between the minor arcana way of envisioning things and the major arcana way. It's like here it's the same thing. It's like you you have completed your work, you have completed your inner self-development and now it's like you can witness the sun rise again, right? And maybe just, you know, talking about the eclipse, it's almost like, you know, now that the sun has been, you know, um, seen or has been, um, has become visible again after the shadow of the sun, of the moon, it's like the sun is now visible again. It's, it is the new dawn. It is the new day, right? So it feels like you you are on to something like far greater than your regular day-to-day -day type of work, right? It feels like you are being upgraded in a sense, but you're receiving this through a new vision because of this announcement. It's almost like it empowers you to see farther and that gives you the sense that you need to take care of things in a practical sense, but you're ready to witness this rising sun, right? Which could be your own rising sun, your own consciousness, your own awakening in a sense. So Pisces, um, I truly hope that this was helpful for you and inspiring in any way. Thank you so, so much for being here with me. I am going to um, pull more cards for you as well as the astrological runes in the extended reading. So if you want to join me, I'll be very happy to see you there in the extended. The link is down below. If not, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.